Could you give us an update on uh, some new products that uh, LDK is launching here at the show? Yeah, it, uh, um, uh, in this evening, just bring our new M2 wafer. M2 wafer is uh, more compared to a normal wafer. It's a uh, second generation. It's a uh, more uh, high efficiency. We can now have a uh, many customer proven have uh, at least 0.4 to 0.5 percent higher efficiency than the normal wafer, and uh, also have a um, much nanner distribution of efficiency distribution uh, is nanner than the conventional wafers. And this is um, it's a tremendous improvement for the solar sales and solar module industry. Um, how is this being achieved? Is this using uh, monocast technology or is this just an improved quality perspective? Uh, this is a new process. We spent two and a half years for R&D and uh, pilot production. We just starting to change our furnace and also our process uh, in the quarter one starting uh, mass production from uh, this quarter and this is a, just a, a still a multi uh, crystal, multi, uh, crystal uh, uh, wafers compared to mono wafer or mono casting it's still much much low cost it's a very cost efficiency but efficiency also already improved near the uh, mono or mono casting and this give a big benefit on the distribution to produce module and also most cost efficiently to produce module in the uh, in the uh, both for the uh, uh, utility level and also commercial level. Now, uh, obviously, this is th as you said, this is uh, uh, a new product and it's just ramping production. Is this going to be uh, uh, a major product, you know, from a capacity point of view in the future for you? Yeah, we are now already um, changed uh, nearly seventy percent of our uh, production facility to M two wafer. And we are keeping in, um, improving that probably in the near future. More than 90% will be moving to M2 wafer in our production facility. Now, Mr. Peng, um, there's been a lot of uh, noise in, uh, in the mainstream papers about uh, the financial uh, health of, of the company. Can you, in your terms, you know, uh, how do you react to that? What, what is your view of the financial conditions? Um, the solar industry have a, have a big challenge from last year and, uh, uh, because um, over capacity, a lot of things. But from LDK side, we are working very hard to uh, make a one of the most fully ready grid uh, player from the silicon to a module and system. And uh, we have very strong competitive advantage from our technology side, from our fully ready grid cost side, and also for our special uh, business model side. Of course, um, there are a lot of um, uh, things talking about LDK finance, especially after we announced our, our first quarter result. But uh, you have to be aware, we, most of our debt is about more than $3 uh, billion um, based in China. So most of our, our debt have already in the last year proven it can be renewable. And most of our uh, debt in China are, are renewable. So for us, this is not a concern for us. Only uh, um, uh, debt we have for overseas is 250 to 260 million dollars um, bonds we owe. We issued last year, but still due April 2014, still two years. I think for a size of LDK, and uh, we have more than two billion, three billion dollars per year in revenue. We can in next two years definitely we can handle um, a bounce about 250 to 260 million dollars uh, debt. So we are very confident LDK will be. Uh, keeping service the um, uh, solar industry in next 10, 15, 25 years. So we are very, very confident of the, the LDK advantage uh, for both technology and uh, scale size and uh, cost ownership and all these things can move in LDK uh, a leader and a uh, strong player in the solar industry. Okay, uh, one final question for you. Um, obviously the company has gone through, uh, like many other companies, significant expansion, you know, from not just from wafer production, but to cells, modules, and polysilicon. Um, that's obviously is, is a huge cost. Do you feel those expansions uh, were too fast considering the, market, consider, you know, considering the market that we have now? Or do you feel that that's a nece necessary part of doing business and being, um, being cost effective in this, in, in this industry? Yeah, I think the, the uh, fully ready grid from the silicon to the module production is really necessary and really is uh, from the uh, quality control points 
you can choose the, 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 from the normal material to all the process to the improvement of the ingot wafer sale and module and also the cost ownership and uh, because you're fully very great definitely give a tremendous advantage on the cost of the, 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 um, the, uh, the cost of the um, uh, economic cost and also the most important because you control all the steps of the uh, fully wet ingredient from a silicon ingot wafer, cell and wafer, you can do all the steps of control the technology innovation. And this is, for example, our uh, M2 wafer just introduced in this uh, in the solar, and it really do a tremendous work from the silicon and the process from the ingot and the wafer process. And this also a lot of feedback from our sales and uh, module production. And this is really a team from the fully from raw material to the, to the final products.